Greetings, Great Witch here. Today we're going to do Out of Harmony. This is a level 55 mission available from Trevor. Now this mission can be a major pain in the butt. So one of the things you want to do is not go to the job. You want to pull up over here by these rocks and we're going to do some sniping from over here because if you go to the job you're going to start a timer. You don't want to do that yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up our sniper rifle. There's a bunch of guys over there, but there's a certain group that you want to go for first. And they're right behind this lost van. You want to take out as many of these guys back here as you can. Just to get it started. There's a guy right there. A couple in there. You really want to kill as many of these guys as you can, because you want to get the rest of the guys to run out towards you. The more of them that run out, the better. So once these guys start running, just take some cover pull out the machine gun, wait for him to get out here and get in range, and we'll just start taking him out one at a time. And it'll take a few seconds for it to get out here, but just let it ride. There's no timer yet, so just take your time as they come out and drop them. Now all of these guys are extremely accurate at shooting. It, it, it'll, be a, it'll amaze you how good they are, and some of them have combat MGs and will just take away your armor and your health really fast. So you really want to be behind cover, especially with some of these guys. And then as they keep coming out, just keep dropping them. Got this guy over here. And he's down. Now you want to climb up on top of this rock and pull your sniper rifle back out. We're going to take out some more of these guys. This guy right in there. Get him. Keep looking around. Oh, there's a guy coming out. Take him. Keep looking around. Because they're hidden in, in all kinds of little places. So you really want to look around. Like right there. That guy's really hidden. Now there's a couple more guys back there. That are hidden in places that you can't get to. You just can't snipe them. So we'll take care of those guys in a minute. But we're going to get all these guys that we can. I do believe that's all of them. See, like that guy back there. As soon as you pull a sniper up on him, he's going to duck back in. You won't be able to get a shot. All right, so now we're going to go take care of the rest of these guys. Do so you want to pull out a machine gun? Whatever one, your choice. Jump back in your vehicle. And now we're going to drive in and start up the timer. Now, as soon as this timer starts up, you're going to have six minutes. And it's going to be the fastest six minutes you've ever gone through in your life. Because two of those minutes, you need to kill the rest of these guys and get this trailer loaded and be on the road. So I pull in like this, use my vehicle as cover, and I'll work on this guy. It's at the back of the van here first. Try to take him out. Then I'll deal with these two guys that are showing up on the motorcycles behind me. These guys. I got that one. All right. So now we'll deal with these other guys. There's a guy right down at the end of the 18-wheeler. Be real careful about shooting near the trailer or the cab. Because if you blow it up, the mission's over. You failed. And that sucks. We got this guy. And we get this guy that's on the other side of this trailer. Hiding right back there. There's a couple more guys around the back. And you really want to kill all of these guys before you try to start loading the trailer. Because they'll, they'll kill you real quick. As soon as you get in the, the cab and try to load up the trailer they'll start shooting you and then you're dead and the mission's over and it's a pain in the butt all right so now you've got five minutes left you want to get this truck loaded up and get out of here let's just be real careful backing up as soon as you get the truck loaded now all you do is go now your first instinct is to just floor it and get out of there but don't do that you want to go slow so what you want to do is you want to get to these, this road that's on the other side of the railroad track. So just go slow across the country, you know, going off-road like this. You don't want to bounce the trailer too much. You'll see like right there, go through right there. That was almost too much, but it can, it can take it. So you just keep coming across over here, cross over these railroad tracks. When you get to this road that's on the other side, it'll make it a lot easier for you to start getting down there. Don't have to make as many turns. It takes a lot of the time out. Now, as soon as you get on this road, you're going to have a bunch of loss coming for you. But you're in an 18-wheeler and they're in motorcycles, so just use the corner of the 18-wheeler to just nick them and take them off their motorcycles. Just like that. 
Now the ones that are behind you, you don't have to worry about them. They, they can't hit you as long as you keep moving. It's just the ones that are coming towards you. So when you get to this point, definitely throw on some armor, take some snacks up because you're going to need it for the next part. So while you're just keep driving, just keep taking these guys out and try to hit them, like I said, with just the corner because you don't want the motorcycle to go underneath the 18 wheeler and explode. It'll flip the trailer off, it'll flip over, it'll fail the mission. You'll be mad. <laughs> so like this guy right here, when I hit him, like the guy got underneath it, but if you saw how the trailer bounced. If it had been the motorcycle, the motorcycle would have blown up. It would have been a bad time for everyone. Now once you get out on the road, the paved road, you'll be able to pick up a lot more speed. But you're going to have to deal with the vehicles that are going all crazy because you got guys behind you shooting. So you have to really watch out for that. And if any of these guys that are right up behind you are you know, starting to get close, you can kind of scrape them off sometimes with some of the cars that are coming towards you just by driving close to them, the car will freak out, spin out behind you and take out some of the guys. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And one thing I never do is I never throw sticky bombs out because there's a really high chance of you hitting the cab behind you and blowing it up and failing the mission. So just drive, you don't have to worry about it. You can tell I haven't lost anything off my armor. They can't really do anything as long as you keep moving. You gotta watch out for this guy. He is always there doing a three point turn. And this corner is probably the one of the worst corners in here take it easy because you don't know how many times I've rolled that 18 wheeler into that ditch on that side and failed that mission for taking that corner too fast. So now when you just come up through here you just got this last little stretch you got guys chasing you. You got two minutes left so you got plenty of time. The only thing you have to worry about really is the traffic. You just deliver this 18 wheeler right down here at the end of the road and then we'll start up the last part of this mission. The hardest part yet. Is if you haven't gotten down here to at least right here with a minute left, then you're, you're messing up. You really need to get the truck loaded and out of there in two minutes with four minutes left. Because if you get into a wreck or anything like that on the way here, everything that happens will eat up into your time. And if you make it all the way down here and fail, like get this close, you will be mad so make sure you have plenty of time and take it easy on this corner right here don't want to flip the trailer over again fail just for something silly now as soon as you get on the yellow dot what you want to do instantly call in your vehicle now, I do this because it gives me another piece of equipment per se to have for cover now I don't know why the trailer disappeared here because this normally does not happen so I don't know what's up with this just took out this person just so I'd have a little bit of extra cover right there because you are going to have a lot of people coming for you right now and they're going to be coming from a whole bunch of different directions so it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt so you really want to get behind your vehicle take out these few guys real quick that guy had to free aim that one now throw out some tear gas you want to do is throw it over to this right side over here and just that'll keep those guys from coming into where you are from that side it won't stop all of them but it'll stop the majority of them kind of funnel of them right into the front and you can just slowly pick off these guys one at a time but they are going to every time you pop up somebody's going to hit you and you are going to lose armor and snacks so you're going to have to stay on that continuously so just go down throw on body armor throw on some snacks and you'll see right there when I come back up again this dude hits me wham there goes my whole armor just like that one hit now I'm almost dead gotta throw them snacks on keep the armor up very important especially in this mission there's just too many people shooting at you from too many directions but if you stay down you can pop these guys off especially if you just bounce through hit a few of them real quick and just keep moving that way you can cause damage to them and then just keep going back and hitting them because as soon as you shoot them they're going to drop to the ground and you're going to have to wait for them to stand back up again so you can shoot them so we got a couple guys left all right and that's it all the bad guys are dead now all you have to do is go to the buyer and the mission's over and i'm going to walk around and get 
whatever loots around and try to find some band-aids for all these bullet wounds. And then when your time's up, it took me like 14 minutes to do this mission, so I just waited the last two just to make sure I get the full payout. Alright, well this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out, and I will see you next time. Peace!